Whitesboro softball has won three straight and four of their last five games. This afternoon in Marcy, the Warriors faced their arch rivals from New Hartford for the second time this season. We start in the top of the second, runner on third and two outs for Tory Jones. Caitlin Riley's pitch is a ball, but they throw to third and pick off Abby Buckholtz to end the inning. Bottom of the inning. Bases loaded and nobody out for Angelina Sirasulo. She grounds one back to the mound. Spartans get the out at home, but Sirasulo beats the throw at a first. From there, the floodgates open. Starting with Sophie Cartini, she pokes one to center for a base hit. Riley and Emma Scranton score to give Whitesboro a 2 to nothing lead. Two batters later, Chloe Weller lines one to right. That brings home two more, and it's four to nothing. They would add two more to take a six to nothing lead after two. We move to the top of the third. Riley, look what I found. Taking a base hit away from Jones. Whitesboro goes on to win this one by a final score of 10 to 5. In Rome, RFA baseball taking on Notre Dame. Bottom three, Eli Neth. Grounds out to first, but he gets the job done scoring Zach Brush. Jugglers now trail four to one. Bottom four runners on first and third for Thomas Rofaro, and it's a double steal. DeAndre Linder takes second, and on the throw, Matt Kelly comes across to cut the RFA lead to four to two. Logan DeLutis, though, would keep it there, getting Brush swinging to retire the side. RFA catcher Ben Minicosi then put on a clinic behind the plate, throwing out Aiden Maxwell in the fifth. He does the same to Vinny DeFestato in the sixth. RFA wins 4-2. to two.